Today, I'm going to introduce you to a brand new quick detailing product from Griot's Garage. And we're also going to talk about the topic of using a clay bar on your paint. Is it really necessary? That's coming up right now. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and on today's show, we're going to talk about quick detailing your paint and using a clay bar. Is it really necessary? Well, let's get right into it. But before we do, I want to remind you, if you're new to our channel and you love motorcycling, you love motorcycle detailing videos, moto vlogs, accessory reviews, installation, how-tos, tips and tricks, things like that, you're in the right place. So go ahead and look down below this video. You'll find a subscribe button. Go ahead and click it and click that little bell icon so YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. I would like to also remind you that if you wait until the end of this video, I'm going to give you a special discount code that you can use to save money on the products that we're going to talk about in today's video. So make sure you stay tuned. I'd also like to give a quick disclaimer. Everything I talk about today assumes you're using clear coat paint or that you'll be working on clear coat paint. This video does not apply to those of you that have a matte finish motorcycle or if you're using these techniques on an automobile, it'd be the same thing. This is for clear coat gloss finish paint. So a few days ago, I received a package from Griot's Garage and they sent me a bottle of their new ceramic speed shine to test and review. I want to thank Griot's for sending me this, but I also want to let you know that Griot's Garage is not paying for this video. They're not a sponsor, but uh, they have sent me the product to test and review. They sent me this bottle and they sent me a gallon a refill and they also sent me some of these uh, microfiber cloths, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. Now, Griot's Garage has been around for many, many years, and they have a real good reputation in the automotive detailing industry for making super high quality products. My own personal history with Griot's Garage goes back to uh, when my brother gave me a whole set of their products as a Christmas gift many years ago, and uh, that's where I first learned about the products and how good they really are. Now, one of the standard products that everybody knows about Griot's Garage is their Speed Shine, which is a quick detailing product that can also be used as a clay lubricant. But Speed Shine just has an incredible reputation throughout the industry. So when they came out with their new ceramic Speed Shine, you can imagine I was really interested. I've been using Speed Shine for years. Uh, in fact, I've had this bottle probably eight or nine years and I also have a gallon that I use to refill the spray bottle with. So the ceramic Speed Shine offers all the same features as the regular Speed Shine, but it does have some of that SiO2 in the product. So you do get some of the ceramic uh, protection capabilities that you would get with any ceramic product. Now, of course, this does not replace a ceramic coating. This is a detailer. It, it, if you have a ceramic coating on your motorcycle or on your uh, vehicle, uh, this will help to boost that. This is the next generation. This is the newest, the latest, and the greatest. And this is what I'm now using on my 2018 Honda Goldwing. Now, the first use of ceramic Speed Shine is as a quick detailing product, which is sort of like a waterless wash. Now, I would not recommend using any product on a very dirty or heavily soiled painted surface. I washed this motorcycle a few days ago actually using uh, Griot's Super Concentrated Car Wash, which is a great product. And I will be doing a complete wash video of how I recommend that you wash your motorcycle. Now, I'm using a 2018 Honda Goldwing, but the principles apply to virtually any motorcycle and even to some vehicle, you know, cars, trucks, things like that. First, I gave the motorcycle a wash using my two bucket method, and I wanted to make sure I had a clean surface to start out. However, the motorcycle then sat in the garage for a few days until I got around to doing this video. So I know there's just inherently gonna be dust in the air and that there has been some surface dust settle on this motorcycle. 
Also, I did write it one time. I went to the post office and just anytime you're writing outside, you're going to get dust. There's going to be contaminants get on the paint. So it's not as clean as it was when I first washed it. That's when you use a quick detailing product like Ceramic Speed Shine. Now, again, if the paint is heavily dirty, if you have road grime and or, you know, bug spots and things like that, I wouldn't use a quick detailer for that. I would go ahead and give the motorcycle a wash. But when the bike is pretty much clean like it is right now, I just need to kind of make sure there's no dust on the surface because we're going to do a clay bar demo next. And I don't want to be using a clay bar on the paint if there's any surface dust because that could just scratch the paint, obviously. So what we do is I need to use a microfiber cloth. This is one I got from Griot's Garage. It is an edgeless, uh, very plush microfiber. I'm also wearing gloves. Always a good idea when you're using any product. And we're going to use the ceramic speed, uh, speed shine. I'm just basically going to shake it up really well because these products will tend to separate if you let them sit on the shelf. And I'm going to turn it to a spray here. And I'm just going to show you on my saddlebag because it's a good flat surface to, to use as a demo. But all you do is basically you spray it on fairly liberally and you just wipe it off. You don't have to let it sit. It's not like the old days with the car wax where you have to put it on and let it haze and all that. And you're basically just going to wipe it off. And you, now, if I think there's dust on the paint, if I, you know, I know there's some contaminants on the paint, I'm going to you know, very lightly wipe it off. I'm not going to rub real hard because I don't want to run the risk of scratching the paint with that dust or whatever's on the paint. So I'm just lightly uh, removing whatever's there. And then it will polish up really nice. This Speed Shine uh, really does uh, come off well. It comes off clean. And it also smells great, by the way. And you'll notice immediately your paint will have a slicker surface because it does have, you know, ingredients in there to give it some slickness and to protect the paint. Now, it's not going to last like a wax job or a ceramic coating. It's not designed for long-term lasting uh, properties. But as a quick detailer, it really is absolutely amazing. Now, one other thing I would recommend anytime you're using a quick detailing product or you're going to do a clay bar treatment or any treatment on your paint, you should always be working in a shaded area. I'm in my garage right now. It's only about 65 degrees, so it's very nice temperature. Uh, you just don't want to work on any kind of painted surface out in the direct sunlight or on a really, really hot surface. Uh, these products are designed to be used you know, within a certain temperature range. Otherwise, you could get some uh, undesirable effects, shall we say. So now that we've discovered the quick detailing properties of Ceramic Speed Shine, let's talk a little bit about clay bar. And what is it? And why should you do it? What purpose does it serve? And where in the paint protection uh, process does clay barring actually fit in? Well, first of all, this is what a clay bar looks like. Now, this is one I picked up off of, off of Amazon. It is a MATCC. I will make sure to put the link in the video down below, so that, uh, in the description down below, so that you can order this if you want to. Uh, I am actually still testing this, but I have used it a couple of times, and I find it to be a pretty darn good clay bar. And there's all kinds of clay bars out there on the market. There's a really good one from Meguiar's. Uh, Griot's has their own paint clay that's also excellent. Let's talk about why you use this. Well, this clay is designed to pick up contaminants from the surface of your clear coat. Now, as you ride your motorcycle, or even if you just let it sit outside, it's going to get contaminants, and those contaminants can embed themselves in the clear coat. The clear coat is relatively soft. So, the only way to remove those contaminants is by using something like a clay bar. And the clay is designed so that those contaminants will actually stick to the clay as you run it over the painted surface. However, you do need some sort of a lubricant so that otherwise it would just stick to the paint as you try to move it over there. And that's where the ceramic speed shine really comes in handy because it is probably the industry standard for clay lubrication. And we'll show you how to do it here in just a second. 
Your motorcycle is exposed to contaminants in the environment. It's exposed to brake dust coming from your, um, your brake pads. And you can't necessarily feel those or see them with your naked eye or even feel them with your hand. But there is one simple test you can do to see if you have contamination on your paint. You can use a simple Ziploc bag, slip it over your hand, and you can run that bag across the surface of the paint. And you'll be amazed, in most cases, what you feel. You will feel some grittiness that you did not feel uh, with your bare hands. So that Ziploc bag will allow you to feel that grit. And those are the contaminants in the clear coat that we're going to remove using the clay bar. Now a clay bar like this, you don't really have to use the whole bar uh, at one time. I'm going to break this in half. I'm only going to use half of it because you can smash it up into a smaller piece and you, that way you can get into all the little nooks and crannies that you need to on a motorcycle. So you get really twice as much out of this purchase that you would normally because you're only going to use half of a clay bar at a time. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves. I always think it's a good idea to wear gloves when you use a clay bar because the clay will tend to get down into the little lines on your fingers and your hands and it's just hard to get out. It won't do you any harm, but it's just kind of messy. So I always recommend you wear gloves when you do a clay bar. So you can see here, I've taken half of one of those clay bars and I've just kind of reshaped it. It's pretty soft and malleable and you can kind of, uh, you know, smash it around between your fingers and get it to a size that's easy for you to use. And as you use the clay bar on the paint, you will notice contaminants forming on the clay bar. So periodically, uh, you'll want to uh, mash this down and flip, you know, bend it in half and re-smash it to get to a clean part of the clay so that you're not dragging those contaminants over other parts of the motorcycle surface. Now to use the clay bar, you're basically just going to spray very liberally. You're going to spray the surface with this ceramic speed shine. And I'm just going to put it on here pretty liberally. Now what I do is I simply come in and I start rubbing back and forth. Now you do not have to apply a lot of pressure. Just minimal pressure rubbing back and forth across this uh, clear coated surface. Now you can use this on chrome also. I would not recommend, however, using it on your clear polycarbonate surfaces like your windshield or your uh, dash, the lens on your dash, things like that, because you could introduce some scratches. So I would use specialized methods for that, and we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. So I'm also going back and forth. You'll notice I'm not going in circles. If you go in circles and you do have contaminants on the clay, uh, you could get some swirls and scratches, which are hard to see on white paint, but if you have a dark colored motorcycle, like black or dark gray, you'll see it more, more readily. So you just basically go straight back and forth and just do a several passes. That, like I say, this, this clay or this uh, lubricant, this uh, ceramic speed shine will really make it slick and work wonderfully. Now once you've done that, you just simply take a clean microfiber, not the one that I used for the quick detailing. I'm, I've got a brand new clean fresh one and you just wipe it off. Couldn't be easier. So you just kind of buff it out a little bit just to remove all of that speed shine. Now let's do the Ziploc test. And unfortunately it's hard to hear this on the video. Oh, I can tell a huge difference. Just that one little bit of section right there. And then if you go to a part that has not been clay barred, wow, you can feel the grit. You really notice it when you go from the smooth clay bar surface up to the one that has not been clay barred. Okay, so that's, this is a nice, clean, smooth surface. Now, the next step in the process would be we could come in here and do a machine polish if we want to make sure all the little uh, hairline scratches are out of the paint before we would apply our 
uh, paint protection. Maybe we would apply a ceramic coating or maybe we would apply um, some sort of a wax. Like I'm going to come in with the uh, Griot's 3-in-1 ceramic wax. That's what I'm going to be using on my paint. And so clay barring is a very necessary step. So anytime you go to, say, a professional detail shop and you're having a ceramic coating put on your motorcycle, you'll notice it's very expensive. On a car, it can be $1,500 to $2,500. Most of that time is the preparation to get your paint to a point so that when you put the ceramic coating on, it looks good. Otherwise, you're just putting a coating on top of a bunch of scratches. And the ceramic coating doesn't get rid of the scratches. It's just covering them up. But they're still there and, you're, and they're still visible. A detail shop is going to go through this process. They're going to most likely clay bar your paint. Then they're going to come in with a machine polisher to get all the scratches out. Then they'll, and then they'll prep it, you know, removing all the waxes and, and grease and other contaminants that might still be left on there. Then they'll apply the ceramic coating to good, clean, bare, clear coat so that you get the best results. So a product like Ceramic Speed Shine is something that you can use as a, you know, as a DIYer just to maintain your paint. Another advantage of Ceramic Speed Shine is if you do have a ceramic coating or like you're using the 3-in-1 uh, ceramic wax from Griot's Garage, using the Ceramic Speed Shine will tend to enhance and kind of maintain that ceramic, those ceramic properties, that SiO2 properties. It will only in, enhance the gloss and the slickness of your paint. And you might ask, well, why is that important? Why is it important to protect the paint in the first place? Well, the clear coat is on your motorcycle paint to protect the base coat, which is your pigment. So if you have red paint on your motorcycle, uh, that base coat is protected by the clear coat, which sits on top, which is what we're actually treating and protecting. So when you apply a paint protector to the clear coat, you're protecting the clear coat from the elements, such as the sun, mostly the sun. But there's other contaminants in the air, environmental uh, pollutants and things that can really degrade the clear coat. And they reduce the UV capabilities or the UV blocking capabilities of that clear coat. So by protecting the clear coat, you are protecting your paint in essence. If you just let it go and you do nothing to your clear coat paint over time, the sun will eventually deteriorate the clear coat and then you'll notice your paint starting to fade over the years. Now it helps if you keep your motorcycle in a garage. It helps if you don't leave your motorcycle out in the sun for extended periods of time. But you know, when we're on a ride, we're out in the sun. So you're always going to have some sun on your motorcycle. So the key is to keep your paint in as good a condition as you possibly can. And a clay bar is one way to do that. An important thing to remember is you only want to use a clay bar with a lubricant on a clean surface. Like I said before, I had washed the motorcycle, but it had sat for a few days. So I felt it was necessary to go over with the Speed Shine first, just to make sure there was no surface dust on the paint before I started using the clay bar. Griot's Garage has been very generous to offer my viewers a 10% discount on any of their liquid car care products. Simply use the code CRUISEMAN when you place your order and they will take 10% off your order. And it's good on any of their liquid polishes, their waxes, speed shine, any liquid products. Griot's Garage will give you that 10% discount. So I appreciate you joining me today. I hope you learned something more about using clay bar on your paint. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments down below. Now, if you're already using clay bar and you've done so in the past, put those comments down below as well. We'd love to hear about it. And other people watching the video would love to know what your experiences have been. Thanks again for joining me today, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.